Well, let's bring in Jonathan Sheridan now, live from Fig Securities in Sydney. This volatility, uh, what's it doing to bond markets at the moment? <laughs> Good morning, Ingrid. Yes, the, yesterday was a very interesting day on our local market. We had a, just a, a huge rally in, uh, in government bonds. The 10-year was down 18 basis points, which is just a massive move for a, for a government bond market. Um, we've actually seen this morning we've given back some of those, uh, some of those gains. We're up about three basis points today, uh, but another volatile session overnight in risk assets. So uh, you can see why people are, are moving their funds into the relative safety of the bond market. So. Again, are you saying it's, 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 it's expected that Japan might lead this market even further into uncharted territory and the chatter, as we've been talking about this morning, somewhat on Janet Yellen drawing up plans for negative rates. What do you expect that might amount to in some testimony even in the next few hours? <laughs> Yeah, look, obviously the, the Yellen press conference in light of what's happening in markets at the moment is going to be very interesting. Um, you know, they've, they've started the hiking process. Uh, clearly no one believes that they'll do anything more on that. Um, Japan are leading the way. You know, their 10-year year went into negative territory yesterday for the first time. Uh, that, that's added uh, a vast amount to the, the global $7 trillion or thereabouts of bonds with negative yields, which, uh, which is just a crazy statistic when you think about it. Um, I, I can't see Yellen, you know, coming out and saying something really uh, at, at odds with their view. You know, the, the real economy is, is no doubt what she'll talk about, and, and the labour force data was pretty strong, actually, apart from the headline number in the payrolls on Friday. So I think much of the same from, from Yellen. Um, it would be a big surprise if she did an about-face. Let's talk the corporate bond market, because it's all about Deutsche Bank, isn't it? What, what are we hearing there? Yeah, Deutsche Bank, uh, their equity obviously has got hammered the last few sessions in particular. Um, but we've seen their, uh, their COCOs or the, the new style tier ones, that, as we call them in Australia, uh, they've sold off about 25 to 30 percent in the last couple of days on worries that Deutsche won't pay those coupons. Uh, as you know, those tier one hybrids have deferrable coupons that can be effectively just cancelled. If they don't pay them, they don't have to make them up. Uh, and obviously investors looking at, at a real risk of that happening. So those COCO is now trading at a, a margin of about 950 points over the asset swap rate in Europe there, which is interesting for our market. Uh, CBA have just gone through the process of calling their Pearls 3 hybrids and they're going to reissue a new deal in the next couple of weeks. Uh, the rumours we've been hearing about 500 points over. So, you know, they look, they look really tight. You know, we've been saying this for a while that these new style tier one hybrids look really, really tight in their pricing and, and even at 500 over from a strong credit like CBA seems to still be the case. The, the issue would be, though, they only come into effect, don't they, when the, when the, the capital of that issuing bank falls below a certain level. Realistically, are we even within sight of that? No, I guess that's the point. You know, CBA uh, and, our, and all, all four of our major banks, in fact, are much stronger credits than Deutsche. Um, that's one of the reasons that they've sold off so much, because they have this regulatory, as you say, uh, clause in there, which, which means that the regulator can deny them the ability to pay those coupons. And those margins are getting a bit fine for Deutsche Bank now, uh, not so with us. All right, John Sheridan, appreciate those insights. Thank you. Thanks very much. John Sheridan from The Fig.